Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this afternoon I made it out for a little short walk from the cottage where I'm staying here in North Cornwall down to this little stream that I kind of looked at on Google Maps just before I actually came along to stay at the cottage and wondered and chanced to whether or not that there was a couple of little mini waterfalls and I'm really pleased to find that there actually is. So yeah, a little bit of a precarious way to actually get down to this little one and I'm not going to be venturing any further downstream because yeah, the rocks are really, really slippy. So it's making sure that uh, obviously taking extra precautions. But I've come across this fantastic little scene in front of me here. Now I've been working on a competition with this little cascade here leading down. And obviously as we're right in the thick of the forest here, or thick of the woods, um, it's obviously having some sunlight, dappled light coming through the actual trees. So I'm exposing the camera, keeping it about 18 mil f11 so i'm making sure that i've got that great depth of field that you get at f11 iso 100 as standard and about between half a second to one second and just playing around with those shutter speeds in between because what i'm able to create is when the light is obviously shining through it's obviously getting the details both a little bit in the shadows but also creating that darkness as well to so where these spots of light and sunlight are coming through that's obviously illuminating parts of the scene and making that a little bit more interesting and with the water as well anywhere between half a second to one second you're obviously getting that bit of a blur on the water as well working out to be really quite interesting one thing I think that's going to improve on this composition now is obviously working on maybe using the uh, circular polarizer to really sort of cut through some of the glare on the rocks but also boost the vibrancy of the greens as well and obviously the browns within the rocks at the same time. So let's have a look at how that comes up with. So using the circular polarizer on the camera now, working out really well. It's actually allowed me to increase the shutter speed to about five seconds. and making sure that I'm just taking a bit of shine off of some of these rocks, particularly the one on the left hand side of the actual composition. Because um, obviously darkening it down as well, making that a little bit more sort of moody image at the same time. And obviously just creating that lovely leading lines with the actual uh, water, with obviously the movement within the water as it's obviously creating through the actual image at the same time as well. Working out really well. So I'm happy with the composition that I've got uh, set up on this little pool now. I think what I'm going to do is just use my artistic license a little bit because there's a lovely sort of dead fall of a branch here with some lovely mosses as well. Maybe I'll reposition that and just do a little bit of tidying up on the actual top of the uh, little cascade here. Because there's a couple of fallen branches, maybe removing those or increase the actual composition and the overall image as well. And it's a bit of a, yeah, should you do it, should you just shoot it in a natural environment? Well, yes, I've already captured it in this natural environment. A little bit of movement around. It's not adding, adding anything or removing anything from the actual whole environment. So, yeah, I believe that that's okay and works within the sort of uh, the ethics of photography as much as there is very loose ethics around. But, uh, yeah, I think this, will work, this scene will work out a little bit better. Let's have a go at that now. So 
So for that last image that I captured, I took it in vertical orientation as a panoramic. It took about five or six images and we'll stitch them all together. And the reason why is because when I obviously composed it using 18mm on the lens, I wasn't able to obviously get a wide enough angle to get some of the foreground and obviously the cascade in as, at the same time. So obviously having it in a uh, vertical orientation, taking again in panoramic, mode obviously where I'm going to stitch them all together will hopefully work out really quite well because then I'm able to sort of crop it top and bottom just to obviously frame it up exactly the way that I want it which is one thing also as well taking a panoramic you're able to then obviously compile multiple files together obviously but that gives you a higher resolution image finally so that's obviously again are going to be an added bonus if I'm able to pick out more detail in obviously the shadows the highlights and the whole composition as well. So then obviously pull all that out in post-production should I then want to obviously focus on one particular point and take an image within an image, so to speak. May not do, but at least I've got the option of doing that. And working this one little scene has worked out really quite well this afternoon and uh, worth the little venture down the road here and uh, obviously just negotiating, getting down onto the slippy rocks, which is uh, not recommended, but uh, obviously you've just got to take extra care and extra caution when you're doing it. So if you do, put yourself at risk, know your limitations at the same point. But this scene, really enjoyable this afternoon. So it's proved to be a really interesting shoot this afternoon and really well worth making that little short walk of only about 10 minutes or so uh, downhill. So that's always great. Now I've obviously got the uphill climb back up to the cottage, but uh, yeah, really lovely. We've obviously the dappled light coming through the trees still even now, obviously down on the scene that I was able to capture worked out really quite well. As I say, from this shoot, one thing to take away is obviously be cautious whenever you do venture out on your own. Because obviously where I was today, very, very slippy rocks and obviously an accident could really happen quite easily. Obviously did inform the wife of where obviously I go. But she then obviously went and got the life insurance paperwork out and made sure that that was handy. So uh, win for her, I think, on that one. But uh, when I turn back up, she would be a bit disappointed. Um, see, I joke. But uh, yeah, well worth it. And I'm really enjoying the actual composition. It looks great on the back of the camera and hopefully, obviously, stitching that panoramic together will work out really quite well. And yeah, it's obviously a bit of a debate, as I said, obviously down by the stream and obviously it's very noisy down there. So hopefully you'll be able to appreciate the audio, uh, the quality is better as possible but um yeah should you or shouldn't you adapt the scene and also just shoot what's natural um yes you should and i fully support that but also um, you can tidy up the environment as well as long as you're not removing anything too uh, obviously significant for example moving a boulder from one side to the other um yeah obviously really shouldn't be doing that but if you're minimal uh, impact on the environment I believe that that's obviously within the ethics of photography. If you disagree or agree, please make sure you feel free to uh, obviously comment below. Uh, that can obviously open up a bo bottle of worms for that one. But um, anyway, I really appreciate you watching today. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If it's the first time watching, please consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.